out. So I'm gonna give y'all a sneak peek. I know y'all been waiting a long time on the life story of Paul Harris. I've been telling y'all it's gonna be amazing. And oh, shout out to the Philippines too, my, all my fans over there and my friends. But this is my life story. This is not everything. It's only a sneak peek, you know, preview of the Paul Harris documentary. I told y'all this is gonna be amazing. I just went to the Philippines like six months ago. I'm gonna hit some real big topics my whole life. I'm just gonna show you some episodes of the last couple years. Then the rest of it will be out by the end of December. So y'all got like a month and a half. We getting everything together. But we're gonna show you what we got right now. Coming at you live. So press play now. Since now, I ain't got no practice. Only thing we got is a game today. But I'm gonna have to get some little work in, a little running. So I'm gonna get, get ready to go do a little running on the treadmill. Nope. Let's see if it's hot out. Is it hot out today? Look at the traffic, Alex. Huh. Look at the traffic, man. Oh, it's worse. <laughs> the traffic, man, is, is, is just backed up. Just go along the treadmill, do some abs, you know, get a little workout in. <laughs> Now we just had a little workout, you know, they are uh, go take a little dip in the pool, you know, my man Jack. I'm your host for today. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared to death. Relax. <laughs> okay, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Mom, Dad, if anything happened to me, you know that I love y'all. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm done, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I did it, that was... That wasn't nothing, man. I wasn't scared. <laughs> <laughs> That's real? Yes. Okay. Six by a scary one. All right, sir, you're gonna open your eyes and try to hear that. That's a very little one. I'm doing back, sir. You try to do that, do back. Wow. Hello. 
All right, now how do you feel while handing it around there? How do you feel? It's good. It's smooth, right? right? We live. We live at the Galleria right now. You know, we're at the Galleria. Let's go. Mind you, everybody, he doing it. So I'm live in the Philippines. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the beach. How you doing, man? I'm sorry, I'm a little loud. So, all my friends back home, Slop, Jizzy, they wanted to go to Miami, but in my opinion, this is better than Miami. You see what I'm doing, man. You see what we're doing, man. Me and Tifa, we just, you know, Tifa had work about three jobs, you know, so I said, sis, you know, before you go home, give you a little break, you know what I mean? Just relax yourself, you know, you really can't do this back home, so we're just enjoying ourselves, man. This is my man right here, he's trying to get us on this little boat. We're gonna check it out, so I wanna see what he's talking about. Where's this other stuff at? Where's all of this? Down there. That's the sailboat? Yeah. We up here, man. My man slopping them. Where you at, bitch dog? Where you at, man? Oh, you trying to get to Vegas. You, you trying to get to Vegas. Jizzy trying to go to Jamaica. Trav, Trav in the town, man. He trying to hit. <laughs> Stuff to my sons and everybody, man. Uh, you leaving New York. You know all the people, man. Nice people here. We're about to go jet skiing. Just in the Philippines. Just enjoying myself. Me and my sister. Hold on tight. Shirts I got made, you know, representing, you know, this is how I really feel, man. I really feel like this, seriously. So this one of the shirts I got made. But my friends see it, they're gonna be like, dang, that's little. <laughs> I look like Ali Peter in this shirt. <laughs> this is what I do on my spare time. Come here, talk on the phone for a couple hours, and just be chilling. But now the season over, I have a little fun. Tell him, say hi to him. The camera's all on the computer. They get listen to you. I'm for real, Daddy. I promise. Yes, sir. You is, Daddy. All right. Yo. Yes, sir. Yeah, this is my father. Hi, sir. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. He's not. He's not kidding. Um, there's a whole crew of people out here doing a film on basketball in the Philippines, and Paul is. It's going to be part of the first, second, third episode. Yeah, it's real. It is a real deal. Well, we hope we hope we can make it good. Yeah. I'm filming y'all. Say hi to the camera. You got to say hi to all your family back home. Say hi, Jeremiah. Hi, Jeremiah. Hi, Diana. Hi, Anna. Now y'all got to say hi to yourself because y'all going to be watching it. <laughs> hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. I 
think why we were so successful is, you know, off the court, we all was together and we were always a family. And, you know, it was no egos. Nobody cared who took the last shot. You know, we just had fun with one another and it was like family. Uh, it really was, and I think that's why we were so successful. Miss those guys. You got it this time. Huh? I got it, Howard. Hold up. You say he's the beast from the east. Beast from the east. He's more like the beast from the white suburbs of the west. How do you mean from the suburbs? <laughs> This is my play. Eat some rice. <laughs> this is one of my most funnest experiences right here. Water rafting. I never did this. This is my first time. And <laughs> I can remember creeping up and getting Coach Josh into the water. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I think it was Ryan pushed me in and it's like three or four of us in, in the water, man. That was, just, that was just fun right there. I remember that day. And I think that was one of the, the big keys when we all got really, really close. Right Come on, man. Oh. Go. Go, on, man. Touch it. Oh, shoot. Yo. Wait, wait, wait. Yo, that's crazy. Oh, I can't even get it. Yo. Touch your toes, man. Go. Yeah, let me do it like that. Let me do it like that. Over here, over here. Oh, shy plant. Yo. Let me say what's up to everybody. Good shit. So, how was the experience, Big Rich? I love it, man. I love it. Hey, would I you ever it. do this again? Oh hell yeah, I would do an advanced and extreme, buddy. Shoot, guys, <laughs> I'm close. Picture, picture. Okay, one, two, three. One more, red, one more, red, red, one more. red camera. One more, picture, one more. picture. picture. One, two, three. Three. Can we join in? Come on, come on, come on in, everybody, come on in. Picture, picture, picture. Okay, one, two, three. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. First, here's head first. Head first. Oh, oh boy. Go. He's got to go for it, coach. That's why I don't go straight, go straight for it. Come on, Sam. Ah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> this is coming off a big one right here. And I can remember one of the guys, one of the fans, told me he wanted a souvenir. And I only had one thing, so I gave him a shirt. And it was these other fans behind me. It was like, Paul, man, can we get your jersey? I'm like, man, I can't give you my jersey. I was like, we need something from you, buddy. Give us anything, man. Your sock. <laughs> so I just took my socks off and I gave him my socks. And you know, it just things like that just make you feel appreciative and, and know that people are willing to accept anything from you. And, I really love and respect the film. Who wanna get some words from you about the game, man? What are your thoughts? My thoughts? One. We're number one. We're number one. We're number one. We're number one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, I just felt like I'm going to do it.
Castro. After we won the championship, you know, I always was a person that I loved to give back. And, you know, I remember when I was a kid growing up in the community, I used to love, you know, the college superstars come to my high school, say hi. So I told my friend Alex, I said, I, I want to go to the inner city. I want to go there. He said, you sure? I said, yeah, I want I want to go there. And I want to see where they play ball at. And, and he took me there. And, as soon as I got out the car, man, it was like, Paul Harris, Paul Harris. Like, you know, everybody knew me, and <laughs> they kept giving me the ball. They just wanted to see me just dunk and just dunk. And, you know, I felt I felt good out there just playing and just having fun and knowing I just made some people day. So I, lo I love arcade rooms and you know I was looking for like one lucky person and, and I said to this guy, I said, you know, if you beat me in this game, I'm going to give you 3,000 pesos, which is probably like you know, $80 US, but you know, so we playing and, and you know, he got 66, usually when I play this game, I get like 90 or 100, I really didn't even try to win, you know, just to, you know, to make somebody day, you know just to make somebody else feel happy and, and special and I think that's what I did. He wanted. Sure. Here we I always was a person, you know, that was brought up off of character and just hard work and, you know, I was having a hard work ethic and from day one in the Philippines I came in, you know, trying to lead by example, just putting extra hours in the gym, you know, in the weight room, just doing a lot of extra things and, you know, one of my great buddies on the team, Jimmy the captain, you know, I would ask him to work out and he did and, you know, I put him through a couple drills. You know, that's one thing, that's one thing I'm special at is working out and, you know, one of my goals after basketball is to be a professional trainer and, and just all sports. I love, you know, just training and running, you know, basketball, just a lot of things. And, you know, hopefully I can be a professional trainer one day after basketball.
Antes de hacer yo una ayuda, una costumbre, yo la guardo. This right here was something special. This was called uh, Walk for Water. Like in the Philippines, you know, some people that live in the province, they have to walk like two miles with these jugs to get water. And, you know, it's, a, it's amazing and it just makes you appreciate the little things like water. Come on, win it! 